Hey, what's going on everybody out there? I'm Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel and welcome to this brand new episode of JJ's First 20. We're going to be taking a look at Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I am playing this on an Xbox Series S, but I'm also doing this video on my brand new gaming PC, which just came in not too long ago. So it's a combination of good stuff all together. But, oh, look at that. Listen to that music. That music, son, it's so good. <laughs> but I've been wanting to play Ori and the Will of the Wisps for a long time because I love the first Ori game. I actually saw that back in E3 during the Microsoft press conference a while back in. I saw this one as well, and I haven't gotten to it. But now, finally, I can sit down and play a little bit with you guys. And eventually, I play it on my own spare time. But I love the visuals of Ori, as you can tell here. Now, I did change this to run instead of running at 4k and running this at 1080p at 120 frames per second so it looks smoother uh and also i don't have a 4k tv that i'm running this on now and this isn't going to be a 4k video but it is a 1080p video so i figured you know what the faster smoother frame rate is nicer but uh of course as i'm playing this let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section uh tell me if you guys love ori if you played the first game if you played any of the previous uh, games from Moon Studios because I think they also did I think they did the Transformers game or one of the Transformers games something like that no that's High Moon Studios so no different studio not Moon Studios check it out like you could just like hang out in here and the little thing just like, go to sleep <laughs> it's funny but look how gorgeous these visuals look man I love Ori Ori always looked fantastic to me welcome when new life came to Nibel this takes place sometime after the first Ori game, so we definitely took knowledge. Look at that. Check out the little owl. Little cuddly owl. Owl baby. Hatched from the egg of the owl from the previous game. Named her Koo. Little Koo. Look how cute this is. I was trying to walk. Look at that. It's just so heartwarming and wholesome, man. I love this. This is so cute. But yes. It's running good thus far, I can tell you right now. I'm very pleased with this. Let me raise the volume a little bit on my end. Hopefully it doesn't echo on the microphone. It shouldn't echo. It should be good, but... Okay, look at this sleepy little owl. Look at this dude, yeah, from the last game. And goofy taking him out there and of course Ori we're here sleeping wake up Ori I can wake up on my own okay yeah I just hit a button just to wake up like huh <laughs> all right let's go let's go find out what's the problem what's going on over here look at how gorgeous these visuals are man oh we're just hanging around there Little owl trying to learn how to fly. I was like, no. <laughs> no. Everybody falls the first time. Man, those leaves, they're so good. And now we're going to the fall. Everybody's eating pumpkins. Just hanging out, eating pumpkins. Owl doesn't eat pumpkins. No. <laughs> Picky. You know, trying to eat bugs. <laughs> I just love how the owl is just like sitting there while everybody does the work. Yeah, that's funny. Now we go to winter. The wholesomeness, man. The wholesomeness. It's sliding owl, yay! There's gotta be an owl plushie. Someone at Moon Studios, get on this. Start making some owl plushies. <laughs> Cause I know we got Ori plushies out there, but we need some some Koo plushies. The sky called to her. She senses disturbance in the force. <laughs> it's funny. Gumu and Naru heard it too. I don't know what Guru and Naru are, though, as far as animals. There we go. She learns how to fly. Fells again. I'm 
Just can't fly yet. I love the backgrounds, like the little details in the backgrounds you could see from the trees. Like, because you can see the breeze working its magic on the trees in front of you. But look at all the way in the background. You can just see like little things like that. Even the sky, man. So cool. Let's go over this way. Now, of course, we're definitely not going to be able to see everything in Ori and the Will of the Wisps in this video. But there's so much more beyond this. But just already from the jump. It looks fantastic. Look at that, the little uh, geese flying away. Man, those sunny effects, the sunset's so good. And that transition to nighttime. I'm over here just like sleeping, like owls do. Or he's like, okay, let me go find out. Can't go that way. Gotta go this way. Or he's like, okay, let me go find out more about that owl that I fought in the last game. Teach this owl how to fly. And the controls, once again... The controls, once again, are very, very, very good. Oops. Do I go up this way? Hmm. I guess not. I think I gotta go back down here. There we go. I'll go up this way, okay. Gotta do that wall jump. There we go. Nice. Here we go. Throw a bunch of stuff out. A feather! You gain the ability to fly. While airborne press right trigger to freely glide and wind currents. Okay. So it's just like this. Nice. Look at that. Just like float down. Yeah. Right on to where. I will near where the owl is at. There you go. Here's your mother's feather. Like stick right into her. That's gonna hurt. They just stick right into her. It just like shows her that the feathers just need to grow a little bit more, maybe. So let me take a sip of this coffee. Hmm. Yeah, I woke him up with the feather. He's like, huh? <laughs> His face is just like, huh? Need more feathers. Huh? Word? Oh, he's gonna tie it up onto her. Okay, so she has assistance with the... Because she had uh, not as many feathers on one wing as she did on the other. It's like, okay, let's do this. I'm about to go Super Mario World on this. Let's go, yeah! Look at that. The double jump. Yeah, we're flying around like this. We go in here. Oh no, that's the wrong way. Okay, we gotta go this way. Yes. It's cool that we get to control Ku here, the owl. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we could glide with her. There goes her mother's uh, nest, or the nest that she'd made. Yeah, look at that. So good. Just like flying like this. Look at that. No. There she goes, flying up. Nice. Now that's cute. Look at that tree, man. The tree of Nabel. This looks so good. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> what the heck? Look at that background. Oh my god. God, it's gorgeous. The waterfall. Now, I know this is on the Nintendo Switch as well, but I'll tell you right now, I don't think the Nintendo Switch version is going to look as good as this. Especially running at this frame rate. 
love this. This looks so good. So freaking good. Nice. Making sure that the speaker isn't catching up a little bit to, you know, my audio. There we go. Sure, because I don't want it to echo. Love the expressive eyes of the owl. Oh, it just looks so cute. Tiny. Check it out, that's some geese. He's looking at it like, huh? What are you doing here? That looks so good. Uh oh. Rain. Time to turn back. Oh no, this is another tree. Another area of the forest. Or location, I should say. Those colors. This reminds me, I've always said that Ori and the Will of the Wisp, or Ori and the, the was it, the Blind Forest? It's, uh, it kind of reminds me of Princess Mononoke, with its na natural, quote-unquote, or nature visuals. Oh, damn. There goes the feather on the fly, the old-fashioned way. Oh, no, she can't fly normally. Oh, there goes, there goes Ori, right into the forest. And lost the feather, too. Separated by the storm, our story began. Wild. Very wholesome, but wild. Look at this. Look how good this looks. Is that a cat? There's a bunch of cats. Uh-oh. Something big's coming this way. Now what? No idea where where he is. No idea where Ku is. The Inkwater Marsh. Okay. So where do we go next? Or are you looking all sad and stuff looking around? So now let's go. Oh, there's some stuff down there. Can't go that way. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, hold on. We have no ability, no way to fight. Yeah, so hold on. Let's go up this way. Okay, a life orb. Collect these to restore life, of course. Which is like the last game. Whoa. Oh, oh nope. Gotta go up this way. Oh! Gotta be careful with that. Shot it again. Because some stuff I can already see that we're gonna eventually have to collect. Whoa. Whoa. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back this way. Nope. No ability to fight yet. We got that the life orb, okay. Nice. Go over here. Go up this way. Got a wall jump so that way we can get over to the, like these top areas. Ooh, gotta watch out for these. Whoa. Ah, damn. Tried to jump over to the side. I wasn't going to the side. There we go. At least it put me not like all the way. Nice. Luma pools and ink marsh. So I can't go that way yet. I gotta pull it. Okay, no, I can. Nice. Life Cell Fragment. You found a Life Cell Fragment collect one or more to increase your maximum life. Yeah, so, exact same thing as the previous game. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did not mean to do that. Okay, so there's gotta be another way around that. Damn. Nope. So there's no way for me to get around there. I gotta go back the opposite way. Border Marsh. Try going the opposite side instead of going the original way we came. Or, I mean, going back to the original way that we came instead of going that opposite side because the very beginning of the game, you have very little you could do here. Hmm. 
I gotta get some life. Okay, what about down here? So yeah, Spirit Container, trade it to friendly creatures for various items and upgrades, of course. What I need is the ability to fight back against enemies, which is a huge part of the previous game, because you run into a lot of different enemies. Can't go through there, gotta go through back down this way. Oh, fall downward. More stuff to do. L listen to that music, it's so mel- not melancholy, um... It's so, like, tranquil. Like, even if it's not, like, a bad thing happening, like, you could totally see... Hold down A to fall- okay, yeah. Grab that. Need to go downward. Yeah, of course. This is so... I've always loved the music of Ori. I think that Ori has one of the best, uh, themes in, in uh, an Xbox game that I've played before in the past. Nothing here? Oh, nothing here, I guess. Just to go that way, but let's just go down this way and see what's over here. Look at that, look at that whole thing in the foreground and the background. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's an enemy. Touch the, touch the torch. Oh, okay, so here we go, yeah! Let's go! Come here, Chunky. Yes. Destroy him. So now we can fight back. Spirit Orb. Can be traded to friendly creatures for various items. Yes, of course. Yes. Smack him. Cool, and that gives us a little bit of stuff. Yep, he's getting burnt. We can open up this area now. So that's how we open up areas that are locked off. What are you now? Not a Moki, clearly. Not even Niwin. Yeah, this is like, it's like a giant... It looks like a toucan? Or, or hornbill? I'm Tuck. I wander in these parts. Take a shoulder from the storm. This is the first time I've seen since the, in the two games that like there's voice acting, quote unquote, or dialogue like this. So here we go, find a keystone. So let's go find a keystone. Deal with this fool. Yeah, yeah. Big time damage. Destroyed him. Whoa. Nope, did not mean to do that. Let's go over here. So down this way. Oh, I did not see that coming. Here we go. Got an energy or fine. Click these to restore Ori's energy. Of course. Go down this way. A little bit of health. Hold up. They have to fight something. Yes. I have to fight this thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, excuse you, sir. Oh, whoa. Got him. Destroyed him. Ooh, look at that. Opened up a new area. Okay. Got a little bit of health. Let's go see what's over here. Ah, there goes flame. Flame went out. Jump on blue moss to cling onto it. So basically we have to get back our flame in order to fight back again. Oh, whoops, nope. We gotta go this way. This way. There goes a keystone, I think, is what we're supposed to look for. Oh no, that's the keystone. Go cool. up. This looks so good. Keystone. Nice. Now the missing key, then we go back down this way. Go back up to where that hornbill was. Our boy the hornbill. I think that's what he is. He looks like one anyway. Ow. Down this way. I think he's over here. Grab the health. Actually, no, I, I should have opened that up earlier. I have to definitely get my fire back up. My fire, like, like torch or whatever. Okay, here we go. You got that keystone. Here's one more for your trouble. I'm ever a bird of my word. Now, continue my wanderings. So lost wonders before we lose anymore. You can carry on uh, whatever you're doing. It's like, yes, good luck, son. There's another one. So the missing key, we got that. 
So now where do we go? Where do we go as far as that? I think this is, we're supposed to go right here, maybe? I think. Oh no, that's a, another thing there that we definitely probably gonna need, but let me uh go back up this way. Cool. Just at least to go get the, the torch. Oh, that thing in the background, you saw that? And this is where the keystones go. So that's where they open up, or the area that they open up. Interesting. Look at those water effects, man. They look so good. Some health. I think this might be boss fight time. This might be a boss fight coming up. Yep, I think so. Yep, look at that. Look how awesome that freaking looks. Whoa, excuse you. Whoa. Whoa, damn. Damn, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that thing's coming right at me. Jeez. Okay, hold on. Fight it back. Yeah, with the fire. So, yeah, it's boss fights. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. There's gotta be health around here. Yeah, okay, we got destroyed there. So, there's gotta be a better way to do this. Okay, so hold on, we gotta keep going. It's like, we can't get hit. Because we have to fight that thing off. Oh, whoops. Let's try not to get eaten! Don't get eaten! Ah! Jeez, okay, hold on. Whoa, what happened? I lost all my health there, you saw that? So hold on now, how many times we're supposed to, we're supposed to hit him like a bunch of times with that? I guess we gotta just keep going back and forth with it. I'm trying to stay up ahead, oh there we go. So we get it back now, smack him. Jeez, okay, hold on. Damn. Oh, jeez, come on. Okay, there we go. We threw him, we threw him back. Because we were using the fire to fight them off. Okay, cool. Very cool. Still a little tough there. Briefly. Nice, and we got the close call achievement there. So not bad. So this is where I think I'm going to end it just as a nice, cool preview. And little first look at Ori and the Will of the Wisp. Uh, but yeah, I think this game looks great. I cannot wait to play more of it just to kind of get, you know more more good stuff out of this damn game man because it looks great but anyway those are my thoughts about and my first impressions of ori and the will of the wisp let me know your own thoughts down below in the comments section leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i'm going to be making some brand new video reviews very soon using the brand new pc and also let me know the quality of what you think or at least let me know what you think of the quality of this video now that i'm running it on the brand new pc but i will talk to all of you guys again very soon